Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi guys, Calvin from Cameron Bike Training here, just leaving the rugby club and I complained a couple of videos ago that I wasn't allowed to do any YouTube uh, videos in nice sunny weather but you'll notice today, we've got nice sunny weather however, they said that that would make a boring video so <laughs> they put me on a scooter <laughs> come on, go faster so, um, yeah <laughs> I'm going to be on a scooter. <laughs> anyway, the idea of this then is I kept on telling ex-students that when I was 16 I used to go up the A9 on a scooter for commuting back and forward to my work. Oh, you can see where this goes. This, is, this, this honestly terrifies me. At 16 you don't think about that. But I mean this is me at top speed. That, that This is top speed. 28 miles an hour. Oh, on the, oh no! Oh, I'm not, please don't make me stop because it'll take me half an hour to go again. Um, so I'm gonna go up the 89 on a scoop. Anyway, I will make my way there. Uh, <laughs> I'll be petrified when I get there. Anyway, I'll make my way there and I will see you there. Anyway, see you soon. This is, this is literally me at top speed. <laughs> I've got an American muscle car behind me. I am so sorry, mate. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> go faster. Please go faster. <laughs> I can walk faster than that. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, no, bike. Right, okay, let's see if the bikers will wave at me. Right, let's see if the bikers will wave at me. They'd wave at me if I was on my KTM. <laughs> Let's see if they wave. Hey, I got an odd way in a leg. There we go. <laughs> oh, God. I must look like the most overdressed biker in the world. I'm an overdressed scooter in the world. I think my helmet's actually more expensive than what the scooter is. <laughs> oh. Ah, there we go. Stupid overtake number one. I knew there was going to be one. Gorgeous cargo. This is honestly terrifying, by the way. Like, I, I can't say how terrifying this is. Although I said, oh, although I said that I was going to start this at the A9, this is honestly terrifying. <laughs> oh no! So, can, riding a scooter compared to riding a bike. Um, first thing is, this is so unstable. Um, I'm sitting on top of it. I'm not sort of straddling it, wrapping myself around it. So it just feels so much more disconnected. And also, like, I, the, the cars just seem so much scarier because I, I am literally flat out here. I can't, I cannot go any faster. And, oh God. Hey, there we go, there's another one. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to this. So the thing is, every time I slow down like this, it's going to take me like double the time it would take a car. And also with the fact that I'm on a scooter, I'm getting a lot less respect on the road, so I have to be really careful about people cutting me up. And it, it does happen on scooters, I don't care what anyone says, it happens more on a scooter than it happens anywhere else. These are the most dangerous things on the road to drive. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Excellent, well done. Right, okay, flat out, flat out, there we go. Way! Oh, oh, oh. Good gears, excellent. Right, okay. And um, we're flat out. This is it, this is all I'm getting. Twenty-seven miles an hour. Here we go. Left signal's on. Okay, I've committed now. Left shoulder. Right, we're going to go straight into this left hand lane. We're going to stay here. So, oh god, this is terrifying. Oh, okay. So, um, obviously, this is legal. Um, I am allowed to take a 50 on the A9. 
It is just absolutely petrifying. Oh, and the bus has just come off. Oh, God, here we go. Okay, so I'm flat out here, okay, at 27 miles an hour. And now I'm going up a hill, I'm probably going to be even less, but this is me flat out. Now, the speed limit on this road is 70, <laughs> so I'm doing about 50 miles an hour less than the speed limit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, bus is coming. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. So, one of the more worrying bits about this is the bike started to cough at me just before I got up here because it was lugging my fat ass up, up the hill. <laughs> oh, okay. So... This is taking your bike on the A9. Now, oh, right, okay. Okay, calm, keep calm, keep calm. Come on. Right. So, taking your bike on the A9 or something like this, the most important thing is you stay centre of your lane. So, you can see here, I'm sitting centre of my lane so that I'm forcing cars to do proper overtake. So, you can see I've got no one encroaching in my lane. Everyone's coming across. Now, this is, this is a commute I used to make every day when I was 16. God knows why my mum let me do it. She was an idiot. I roll a year. And what I'm doing here is I'm just keeping on flashing my mirrors because I'm not being funny. If I see a car coming up too quick behind me, I'm ditching into the side there. There's no way I'm going to let a car rear end me. Okay, right. So, I'm not going far up here by the way. I am coming off at this and I'm looking down and coming back down. That, that is it. I'm not doing any more than that. I refuse to. This is... So this is what happens when I complain about not getting allowed to go out and do YouTube videos on a sunny day. I get a sunny day and this is what they sent me to do. Oh God! This is absolutely petrifying. Please, please, please do not do what I'm doing. I'm doing this so that you don't have to. This is danger. This is dangerous. I mean, there's no other way about it. This is really dangerous. Oh, I don't like this. This poor Merrick sitting behind me now and he's... Oh God. Oh, right. Okay. Right, we're coming off here. Come on, Cam. You're nearly done. You're nearly done. Oh, right. The theory stands, no matter what road you're on, though, when you're going slower than what the speed limit is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you get idiots like that, who think you just shouldn't be here. And you also... Um... Yeah, just super dangerous, don't do it. <laughs> just super dangerous, don't do it. I am losing the ability to talk because I'm so stressed out. Oh, this is worse than doing a lesson. I, honestly, this is this is horrible. Um, it's probably Scoot's uh, getting killed as well. Anyway, so yeah, the, the idea there is, is when you're going up a road like that, stay centre of your lane, make people wait behind you. If it gets dangerous, then the best thing you can do is um, pull in, let people pass, and then go by. That's literally it, and then come back out when it's clear again. Now, on a road like the A9, that's not quite as possible because there's only laybys that you can stop at. And that stretch of road that we did there, there's there's no laybys, and oh God, we're going to do it in the way back down as well, aren't we? Oh God, here we go. Right, okay. Okay, so first thing is, coming down from a slip road, you need to match the speed of the cars that are going along. I don't know how I'm going to... Oh, come on! Hurry up! <laughs> so when you're on a slower vehicle like this, you just need to forward plan. You need to try and be as safe as you can be. And you need to pray to God that there's nothing coming down this A9 as, we, as we're getting onto it. Honestly, I cannot state, this is something that you should not be doing as a normal rider. Cool, so I've got a Jeep with a horse box and then a white car. I'm getting my right signals on so that people know that I'm coming out. I'm going to start to come across so that I can commit to that lane if I need to. Okay, there's a black car coming up here. Hopefully he's going to move out. But she does. I've got a clear lane, so I'm going to come over now, straight into centre of my lane. And that's me. Cues likely, especially when I'm on my moped. Yes, let's go. Right, okay. So again, we're just going to carry along here. And praise God, nothing hits me. Now, because I'm going uphill here now, my speed's even worse. Okay. Oh my, I can't believe I used to do this every day and I used to not think about it at all. And that, oh, here we go. Oh. That is the problem with 
being young and being on a bike is I honestly didn't think this used to be dangerous. I am now petrified. Nearly over 20 years later and, oh, well not 20 years, so I've even lost the ability to count. Uh, you know, so 16 years later and I'm, st I'm not even, st I'm, pe I'm petrified, I'm petrified. Edit in how many years it's been. <laughs> Right, come on, come on little scoot, you can make it, you can make it, we're nearly at the roundabout, we're nearly at built up areas, we're nearly safe, we're nearly safe, come on Mr BMW man, get into that lane a bit earlier, thank you, right, there we go, there we go, oh there's a HCV, okay, keep going, we're nearly on the downhill, we might be able to go a bit faster, <laughs> I am so prepared to ditch this, by the way. You've got no idea how prepared I am to ditch this if I need to. Oh, that is not a nice sight. That's not a nice sight. That's not a nice sight. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh, roundabout. Second exit. Straight ahead, second exit at the roundabout. Okay. Okay. Check your mirrors. <laughs> oh, why did I do this? Why did I do this? I will talk about the information part once we've done this roundabout and we're back onto some 30 mile an hour roads at the moment. I've got a bike behind me now, that's quite nice. And this is the other reason that you don't put scooters on A9s. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the safest way to go down the A9 on a moped. Push it on the grass. <sighs> well, it takes the least amount of time as well. Right. Once we get down here, see if we somewhere we can actually look at this. Oh, that was scary. Right, so biggest, <laughs> biggest lesson to learn from that, don't take a moped on the A9, um, they're not designed for it, uh, that's what happens if you try and take one on, I mean, our one's generally quite well maintained and quite well looked after, it's obviously bumped and scraped from CBTs, but it is well maintained and well looked after, and that's exactly what happened there, the carburetor flooded on it, because I was trying to give it as much nuts as I could for as long as I could, and the bike just can't take it, and still got silly overtakes. Ah, oh, right. I mean, uh, that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm full throttle here. I mean, this is the same speed that I was doing when they go down the A9. So this will choke up again going down if I stay on roads like this. The only time it won't choke is if it's on and off, like in junctions, roundabouts, that sort of thing. That gives the carburetor a bit of time to catch up on itself. That's my theory anyway. I'm no mechanic. That's the idea that I got. Anyway, this is Callum at Cameron Bike Training. I hope you enjoyed that video because I sure as hell didn't. Until next time where hopefully I'm on a proper bike and I'm doing something proper. Oh, there we go. I've broken bloody down again. Come on. Come on. You can nurse at home from here.